Hi everybody, this is Kathy and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. This week we are using our watercolors. So I am going to use this Prima set and I don't hardly ever play with watercolors and I should. I love the colors and this is something different. So, I pulled these out of my stash. I got these from Hip Kit, and I already gessoed the back so that I can add some watercolor. So, these are the colors that I'll be working with, and I think I'm going to go with the purple, blue, and pink colors. So... Let's start. I already been playing with the um, watercolors just to see what colors they are. So I'm just going to now the gesso is going to make it to where I can move it around. And I'm just going to do some different colors. Get some pink here. And then when I add the pink, it's going to combine with the blue and make a purple. Just like that. So I kind of kind of want it all different colors and okay let's do some there and I'm going to just kind of different colors and I just want them to um, just have a little bit of different just like that I'm not really wanting wanting to have the same color like like even this pumpkin yeah the orange is great I really want to bring in some pink and let's see what other color get that blue Orange. And I'm hoping that this turns out I love the mix of colors. Let's do some brown. Maybe down here. Do a little brown in there. Maybe some yellowish green. And what about some different green? Okay, that's like a really bright, but let's put it in there. All right, my favorite colors are the pink. Blue, and I don't 
yet. I don't have any um, any of my photos picked out or any of my papers. I just thought I would do this. See, I don't even know if I'm going to use the... Let's dab. See, one thing about gesso is that you are allowed to wipe up if you don't like it. So... Let's move that over here, and I really like the pink, the pink and the purple. So, I'm going to redo that, and then add some blue. Now, I am going to dry these. Okay, I almost forgot to turn the camera on. I am going to use some of this pink, and I already gessoed the back of my paper. So, let's just do the kissing technique with these watercolors. Try to smooth it out. And I'm just doing a little bit just to do the background. Okay. Gonna swish it. And then I will go ahead and dry this before I start my next color. But I want to get it moving. All right. Okay, so I mixed up this blue, and we're going to put some blue down here. And with the gesso, the paint is like moving around. So. Just want a little bit down here. Okay, so I think next I'm going to add some of this pink and the blue, and we're going to mix it. Look at that pretty. And we'll put the purple down here and up there. So, I don't ever play with paints. So, this is all going to be new, and I did get some that that wasn't on the gesso. So we'll just do let's see the different colors. So I am going to dry that, but I do want some splatters. Okay. 
Okay, now here's my background. It did warp a little bit. I did pull out some purple cardstock and then I gutted this number four, I'm pretty sure, um, of Truly Grateful. Look at how I have splatters and everything on my white desk. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. Try to get a good amount around to keep it from curling. So, I have been working on this layout for three days. And, whoops, boy, that crap. I just, you know, I say I don't have mojo. When I say I don't have mojo, I mean, it shouldn't take me three days to think of something to put on a layout. And I'm just like... Oh, you know how you get when you just don't want to scrap? I'm, I'm getting like that, and I, I have all the time in the world to scrapbook. And I think it's just finally getting to me to where I have ideas, but it takes me a while to come up with something. Well, that's kind of crooked, but... So, like... It's like before, I could just whip out pages and just slap stuff on. And, and right now, I'm just struggling with trying to um, find what to, what to do. And in my mind, nothing looks good. Do you ever get like that? I... Um, I just, you know, I, I'm struggling. All right. I think that's going to be all right there. If it's crooked, it's crooked, you know? All right. So, I'm going to do these photos. And I pulled these out of the Pink Fresh Indigo, Indigo Hills, yes. So I thought maybe I could put this frame on for this one. And my video is going to be long. And I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to, you know, keep the um, everything in with the watercolors, since that is our prompt this week. I will trim this and I'll be right back. Okay, while I glued that on, well, I need a little bit more glue. I went ahead and cut my paper. I gutted this piece, so I'm going to back this photo. I don't know if you can see their faces, but they are so silly. They're silly girls, and I love them. All right, so I thought about going like this. Then I pulled this label. And it kind of brings in this color here. And I just thought maybe I can use some leaves and 
some of the leaves that I painted and kind of maybe I want that like that kind of tuck that frame let's trim that a little bit okay like that Kinda. okay let's I want three groups of labels kind of around. Here's a leaf that I watercolored and I'm just going to mix it with some hip kit. I don't know. We will see. Kind of like this flower and I don't want to okay then here's another label I'm going to bring that color up here and then use a pink label and here's a leaf that I colored so we're going to bring that in there and maybe bring this purple up here. And this dark blue up here. Kind of like that. What do you think? I fussy cut. Uh, these labels from Paige Evans, Truly Grateful. And that's where I got these at. So, oh, and here's a little tiny purple flower to match that. So I thought maybe I could bring that up here. That's what I laid out. Now, kind of goes like that. So I'm going to go glue this stuff down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that glued. Ah, it looks okay. Okay, now these are from Hip Kit, the Cozy Up, and I thought about using Simple Joys because Lily is squeezing her cheeks and brightly sticking her tongue out and oh the simple joys i think it's perfect so let's get this well that's kind of sticky for once uh, i hate popping those little things out of the middle of the you know, like the E and stuff. I like to take my pen and kind of poke it through off of my glue. Now, where did that go? We are going to put it up here. It's kind of crooked. Everything's crooked today. Okay. Well, these don't want to come off. Okay, now before I forget, go check out Shannon and Krista's channel and see what they're doing this week. We are all using watercolors and but we all do different things simple joys I think I will put the and use these let's figure out how to open it
And I think after I do that, I might add some... Here's a little flower. Maybe I'll put this on there. Maybe up there. And I have, uh, it's, I struggle to use a bird. Yeah. Okay. What about enamel dots? See if I could find some. Or I could use some of these. See which ones. We'll go. I don't know if I've already used. I usually open up my package on the the right hand. We'll put a heart up here. Here's a pink. We need some pink down there. A blue dot. Um, did I use here's a pink one with a heart? So that'll be cute. Okay, what color? This is new from Lindy's, and I love the shimmer in it. And it is called Sweet Violet Purple Teal. So I might just splatter with this since the watercolor that I use from Prima don't have any shimmer on it. I gotta have some sparkle for the girls. Okay. That will dry. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I want to thank you so much for sticking it out with me. And I'm sorry my video was super long. When you're stuck, you're stuck, I guess. So, enjoy your day. And don't forget to um, go watch Shannon and Krista. Bye-bye.